you're a run rate company. Uh, we're operating about 100, we've got 130 different locations around the world, uh, countries that we operate out of. We serve over 290,000 customers in the world in about 190 countries. Uh, we're the world's leader in enterprise application software and software related services. Um, so we have a fairly significant footprint in the world and uh, you're probably wondering why SAP and why Ford are here uh, together. And I think the topic today is really around user experience and design and the importance that that's playing in all of our lives as individual human beings on the planet. And uh, more and more what we're seeing is all companies have to start paying more attention to this and in order to deliver wow, awesome experiences to our, our customers, uh, we have to figure out how to collaborate and cross-pollinate and work together um, as humans and people are leaving their home experience and they move to their cars, they want to have a little bit of interaction with the consumer experience on LinkedIn, Facebook and those things, as well as some of their work that they might be heading to. And then when they transition into the office itself, they also want to have a seamless experience when they go in there and have a consumer grade experience there as well. So at this conversation today and the experience you're going to have here in the next 45, 50 minutes, I think will be quite exciting and inspiring hopefully. And you'll definitely get a taste of all the things that both our companies are working on. Um, and it will be a whirlwind tour. And just before we do that, I wanted to bring uh, some people from Ford and SAP on stage and we'll have a brief conversation about design and user experience and those topics. I'll keep it as brief as possible because I know we're pressed for time. Um, so first of all, I'd like to welcome Murray Callum, a uh, good Scotsman. Uh, to the stage. He's the head of design for Ford Motor Company. So please give him a round of applause. Thank you. Thank you. A good colleague of mine, Iliad Goldwasser, who's part of the Design and Co-Innovation Center. I've been instructed not to use pre acronym, so I'm do that. And then Sally Lawler Kennedy, another Irish person. An Irish person. I'm an Irish guy, I'm from Dublin. Irish. So, without further ado, because I know we're, we're on a clock here, Let's talk about the wow, the experience, the user experience. So Sally, would you like to help us get a sense for, you know, giving a great user experience is now table stakes in, in all of our lives. So how in your role in SAP is that manifesting itself? All right, so let's face it in general, uh, business software is not known for having a good user experience. <laughs> So our mission is to shift the paradigm for the user experience for business software. So today, in your personal lives, maybe even in your work lives, you use you know, Google and Facebook and Twitter, and you're comfortable with those, you know, those things that, that you use. So the... The consumer experience uh, is now the new standard for business software. And in SAP, we are using design thinking throughout our company. Um, there's no one accepted definition for design thinking, but short answer is it's a methodology that uh, can be used to uh, solve complex, complex problems and generate new ideas. So with design thinking, we're taking a look at three particular areas. It's desirability, viability, and uh, usability, thank you. Uh, desirability, viability, and feasibility. So the desirability is about what's the experience you have using that product? Is it an experience that makes you go, wow, this is cool? Uh, the feasibility is about can you actually build it? And the viability is, is that product meeting a business need? And innovation occurs at the intersection of the three of those. So we're using design thinking to bring in innovation and to create that consumer experience for our customers. So throughout our phases, our design phases, so we have discover, design, and build. We're working with real end users uh, from our customers. And we work with them to get feedback about concepts. We get feedback about designs before something is even built. So about five years ago, we 
started an experiment and we created a multidisciplinary team. Uh, we had product, uh, product managers, we had developers, we had designers. And we moved them uh, about 10 minutes uh, down the road in Los Altos to a small office. So we intentionally separated them from SAP so that we could create a startup environment. And uh, the goal for this, this team was to create, uh, to create consumer apps in 90 days from start of the idea till full delivery of the product. And they also then had to make it available on the app store. So we called, uh, we called this experiment the App House. And the App House team created, uh, created some products like Recalls Plus and In My Runway. So the experiment proved, um, it proved that we could create, uh, create the products in the short amount of time without compromising quality, without compromising, uh, without compromising a user experience, um, and, and actually creating more award-winning user experiences. So, and if you take a look around this facility here, uh, many of the principles that we learned from that App House experiment were, were incorporated into redesigning these offices. 